Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel if you've been here before and if you haven't then welcome. Today I'll be showing you how I made this super cute crochet starfish purse. And this purse is on the smaller side and it's meant to be worn over the shoulder. I think it's super cute and there's a lot of opportunities for different color combinations. So if you're interested in learning how to make this purse then stick around. Also please consider liking and subscribing if you'd like to see more content like this. I have a ton of ideas that I'm excited to make and share. First, I'll list out the materials that I used to make this purse. I used four different colors of yarn. I used pink as the main color of the purse, light blue for the main color of the starfish, light green for the outline of the starfish, and a darker blue for the inner part of the starfish. And I will list the brand and colors of yarn that I used in the description below. I also used some sequins to sew onto the inner part of the starfish. And I got this pack of sequins from Michaels. I just chose the color to match the inner part of the starfish. I also used a dark blue thread to sew on the sequins and a pink thread to sew the starfish onto the bag. I used a size five millimeter crochet hook and some scissors. A yarn needle is also optional. You can use a yarn needle and yarn to attach the starfish to the purse if you prefer that over the needle and thread. You can also use the yarn needle to weave in the ends of the purse at the end. First I started with the lighter blue color to make the starfish. I made a magic ring and if you don't know how to make the magic ring, I recommend looking up a tutorial just because I always forget how to do it. And once you complete that, chain three. Then make nine double crochet into the magic ring. So at the end, you should have nine double crochet and one chain three in the magic ring, so it will count as 10. When you reach the end, slip stitch into the top of the first chain three that you made. And this will close the circle. Chain seven. And then slip stitch down the six stitches. and make a slip stitch into the same stitch that you started in. Slip stitch into the next stitch. Slip stitch into the next stitch after that. Chain seven again. And then slip stitch down the six stitches. And make a slip stitch into the same stitch that you started in. Slip stitch into the next stitch and then slip stitch into the stitch after that. And continue this pattern three more times.
Finishing up the last leg, I made a slip stitch into the stitch that I started in. Here I had the five legs. Then I made a slip stitch into the next stitch. And instead of slip stitching into the stitch after that, I made a double crochet into the first stitch on the first leg. Then I made a double crochet into the next stitch. A half double crochet into the next stitch. And then another half double crochet into the next stitch. A single crochet. And then three single crochets into the last stitch. And as I do this, I turn my project and I follow the same pattern down. So one single crochet into the next stitch, a half double crochet into the stitch after that, a half double crochet into the stitch after that, then a double crochet into the next stitch, and a double crochet into the last stitch. Then I slip stitched into the stitch below. So this is the next available stitch. And after I did that, I followed the same pattern for this leg as well. and I followed the same pattern for the remaining three legs. And once I finished up the fifth leg, I made the final slip stitch into the stitch below. And I cut off the yarn and tied it off. And that is the completed starfish. Next, I used the light green yarn to create the outline for the starfish. And for this part, I just attached the light green yarn by tying it in the back first. I pulled a loop through to the other side and then stuck my hook back in to grab another loop of the green. And from there, I could slip stitch all the way around the starfish.
And when I reached these corner parts, I made sure to slip stitch all the way down and come back up. And then I continued to crochet all around the leg. And I followed this same pattern all the way around the starfish. And once I completed that, I cut the yarn and tied it off. And this is what the starfish looked like so far. Next, I used the darker blue to make the inner part for the starfish. I started by making a magic ring. And then I made eight chains. and I slip stitched down the seven chains. And made a slip stitch into the center. And then I made eight chains. And I slip stitch down the seven chains. And made a slip stitch into the center. And then I did the same thing for the next three legs. Chain eight, slip stitch down the seven chains. And slip stitch into the center magic ring. And once I completed the fifth leg, I cut the yarn, pulled the magic ring tight, and tied it off. Next, I attached the sequins onto the inner part of the starfish. I started by placing them how I wanted them just to see what it would look like. And once I was happy with the placement of the sequins, I grabbed the needle and thread and started to sew them on. If you don't have a needle and thread or the patience to do this, I'm sure there's some type of glue out there where you could very easily glue the sequins on. The sequins are also optional, but I think they make the purse really pop.
Also, as I was sewing on the sequins, I sewed in the yarn ends that were sticking out, and this just made it easier for me to attach it later. And this is what that piece looked like after I attached the sequins. And next I placed this piece on top of the outer starfish piece and lined it up. I also used a needle and thread to sew these two together. And this is what the final starfish piece looks like after I stitched those pieces together. Next, I used the pink yarn to crochet the purse. I started by making 18 chains. And then I started by making one double crochet and the third chain from the hook. And from there I double crocheted all the way to the end, so 15 more double crochet. In the last stitch, I made four more double crochet, so there should be five double crochet total in the last stitch. And from there, I double crocheted all the way to the last stitch, which would be 15 more double crochet. And in the last stitch, make two more double crochet. Slip stitch into the top of the first chain three that you made. Next, I made three chains. And I double crocheted into the first stitch that did not have the three chains. And from there, I crocheted into every stitch all the way around. And this was 36 double crochet total.
slip stitch into the top of the beginning stitch, which is the chain three, to close everything off. And that completes the first row. And from here, I made 10 more rows the exact same way. So chain three, double crochet all the way around with 36 double crochet total. Slip stitch into the top of the beginning stitch, which is the chain three, and continue this pattern for all the rows. And keep in mind that you can always adjust the amount of rows that you make. If you make less rows, the bag will be shorter. If you make more rows, the bag will be longer. But I did 11 rows total. And once I completed my 11th row, I made 120 chains for the strap. And keep in mind, you can always make more or less chains depending on how long you would like the strap. And once I completed the 120 chains, I just eyeballed where I thought the exact opposite side was for the strap and I slip stitched into that stitch. Then I turned the project and slip stitched into all of the chains that I made all the way across. And if you're happy with the bag like this without the flap, you can tie off the yarn here and just attach the starfish to the purse as it is. You can also add something to fasten the bag like a button or something that snaps together or some type of tie. But this is not how I left the bag. I decided to add the flap which I'll show you how to do next. Once I had the strap attached on the other side, I slip stitched into the next stitch and made three chains. And then I double crocheted all the way across until I reached the other side of the strap. And for me, it ended up being 16 double crochet total across, 17 if I included the chain three. The total amount of double crochets might be slightly different since I just eyeballed where I placed the strap. And once I completed that row, I made three chains and double crocheted across this row. And I ended up doing one row less than the height of the bag that I made, so I did 10 rows total this way. But keep in mind, you can also customize the height of the flap by deciding how many rows you want. And once I was happy with the length of the flap, I cut off the yarn, tied it off, and then weaved in the end with the yarn needle. And this is the completed purse without the starfish. And then from here, I used a needle and thread to stitch the starfish onto the purse. And that is the completed purse. I hope that you love it as much as I do. If you have any suggestions for future videos you'd like me to make, please leave them down in the comment section below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.